Okay, in this video I'm going to provide a short demonstration of a path analysis based on a presentation in Schumacher and Lomax's uh, Chapter 5 uh, from A Beginner's Guide to Structural Equation Modeling. This is uh, essentially from their 2016 book. So they basically reference a study uh, by uh, McDonald and Clell in 1984 uh, looking at uh, sentiments towards unions of southern non-union textile workers and um, they actually what I was able to do is actually download um, a literal file containing uh, syntax that includes a covariance matrix from uh, the book website and what I'm going to do is just demonstrate uh, how to input a, a variance covariance matrix uh, into Amos and run an analysis uh, through that program so uh, this is the basic model that we have right here. We have age and years um, as exogenous variables within the model. We have sentiment and, and uh, deference and support as endogenous variables. So we have sentiments being treated as a function of deference, support, and years. We have uh, deference being treated as a function of uh, or variation as a function of age and support. Uh, the variation is being um, considered as a function of deference and age. So the variance covariance matrix uh, that I've created uh, in SPSS, this is what it looks like. So you can see that I've got uh, the first variable is called row type um, with an underscore following it. The next variable is uh, their name with an underscore. And uh, so basically under variable view, this is what it looks like right here. So you can see that row type underscore is entered as string. Uh, you can see that uh, var name underscore is entered as string. We have the names of our variables right here, deference, support, sentiment, years, and age. And so uh, they are appearing right here. And then in row type, I've got COV, that's reflecting covariance. Uh, the N is reflecting sample size. Uh, under the var name uh, column, I've got the names of my variables as well. So basically, what we have right here is, um, you know, the principal diagonal for our variance covariance matrix is right here, and then we have on the off diagonal we have the covariances. So here's covariances with between deference and the remaining variables, then support and the remaining variables, sentiment and the remaining variables, um, and then we have uh, years. And uh, the next line right here, this row right here, contains the sample size of 173. So basically, uh, all we have to do is just draw out the model and input the data. So this is the basic model right here, but I'll quickly uh, redraw it just to uh, provide that demonstration. So uh, I, what I'm going to do is change the interface a little bit. I just went up to um, view interface properties and paper size. I'm just going to make it a little bit larger. I'm going to change it to uh, legal right here and hit apply. And there you go. So we're going to go up, click on the uh, um, rectangle, and I'll just draw out one right here. And then I can just use a little copier right here and then, uh, and then basically click and uh, drag. So there's uh, one box there. Uh, we've got another box here, another box here, uh, and then we've got uh, sentiment will be out here. Um, next, I will add the uh, disturbance terms for each of those, for the endogenous variables. So I'm going to click right here, and then I'll click right here, and I'll, I can kind of keep clicking around and moving it around. Uh, the same for this one, and then the same for this one. Next, I'll draw in the um, um, uh, direct effect. So there was a direct effect here, a direct effect here, a direct effect uh, here as well. We had uh, this variable uh, predicting this one and then this one also predicting this one. We also had uh, a direct effect from this variable over and we'll also click on the double headed arrow and then draw that uh, uh, covariance in uh, right there. So that's the basic model uh, the uh, diagram that you see uh, right here. Next, I'm going to right click under object properties. I'm going to just type in D1, D2, and D3. Um, in the uh, actual chapter, they use the word error 1, error 2, and error 3, but that's that's fine, no biggie. Next, uh, what I'll do is I'm going to import the data. So I'm going to click on select data files, go to file name, and um, in this particular case, I'll uh, find my uh, file folder with the uh, the data. So this is it right here. This is chap uh, the uh, path analysis covariance matrix example. So I'm basically going to be importing this data in. So I'm going to click on open, 
and then on OK. And so now when I click on this little box right here, um, I can just drag the variables uh, into their places. So I'll put age right here, years down here. We have deference here, support goes here, and then we have sentiment down here. Next, I will, uh, you know, I'll click this little box right here. I can ask for standardized estimates, squared multiple correlations. I can ask for other things if I wanted, uh, but we'll just stick with that for this demonstration. Next, we'll click on this box right here for calculate estimates. And before you do that, um, since we just drew this out, uh, we basically have to save the um, the model. So uh, this is the model right here that I've drawn. So I'll just I'll just save it as you know 5A right here. Click on save, and now we have it. And so now we've run the model. This is a chi square uh, goodness of fit test, degrees of freedom. When we click on this box right here, we can go under model fit. We get our various uh, model fit statistics, uh, as you can see. Scrolling down, there's the RMSEA. We've got the CFI right here, uh, TLI right here, GFI, AGFI, and so forth. The estimates, you can see that we have uh, them as well. So these are the unstandardized path coefficients and significance levels, the standardized uh, path coefficients, the uh, covariance between age and years, um, 7.098. There's a test of uh, significance test for that, and then the correlation is 0.781. If we uh, click on this little uh, button right here, you can see that uh, right now it's uh, set up as unstandardized estimates. If I click right here, I get the standardized estimates.